How's she going right there, eh? It's Denise here from Denise Lowe's Outdoors. Back up the woodlot. I'm at the log landing. So we've been kind of playing around here for a couple of days. Um, we've got a lo load of logs in here. Um, I think there's probably 10. 10 of them. Um, there's a couple of them that aren't too bad a shape but there's a couple of them that are really crooked um so for the base i guess what i was trying to do is get the largest logs i could find and the straightest i guess that one there's got a little bit of a crook in her um but yeah like i was looking for some sill logs uh, a couple of big ones 20 inches at the butt um there's really not that many of them, especially nice straight ones, of course. So I got a, a few of them in here. Um, the ones that we were getting, um, the spot was kind of in a swamp area. So, And also this is another issue. Um, when you get cedar trees that are this big, um, they start getting hollowed out. So then you got to keep chopping off, you know, and even in there, that's a little soft. So... I really don't know what I'm going to do there. Even like Dad was saying, if we had to, we could core it out and then put a piece of cedar in there and glue it in. Because that's going to be on the end. Um, kind of like so. Anyhow, I was hoping to get uh, full length logs um, so I wouldn't have to splice them. Um, but I may not be able to do that. I may have to cut them and splice them since they're going to be kind of crooked. So you never know. I may still keep keep an eye out. Um, there was some other ones once we found these. These were in a swamp and uh, it actually warmed up the past couple of days. So it was getting a little wet and soupy in there. And uh, it wasn't freezing like I would have liked. So um, what we did is we grabbed what we could. Um, and then in the next couple of days, what we'll do, or the next time we're up here, hopefully we get a little bit of a cold snap and then I can get in there, uh, get in a little further in the swamp. It's just like that black mossy peat. And hopefully by then the next, I actually head into work here this week. So I work shift work. So then the week after that, I'll be off. Um, and then hopefully the lake will start freezing up. They were on the edge of the lake, like I was explaining the other day, we were pulling them across with the four-wheeler because I really don't want to risk taking the tractor across there right now. Um, and all the snow has uh, blown off the lake, and so it's really hard pulling. You're just kind of spinning around. Um, but if we get a, a cold stop in the next couple of weeks, my plan is, is to pull the logs across with the tractor this way and in through here yeah so uh these are pretty good size logs actually um you know they run anywhere from 20 to 18 inches in diameter the bad thing about cedar is they do taper um so i'm hoping uh this will be all right i'll i'm going to show this i'll send this to uh the bearded carpenter see what he thinks this last one I just threw on there. They look great when they're standing straight up, but man, when you get them down on the ground, they look pretty gnarly. So I'll use that for something else. And you now, like I said before, this was just trying to get a system to do this the most efficient that we could. Um, it worked out not too bad. There's a the trailer that we're using the logging trailer so like i said way on the other side of the lake where we put that gate um that's where we cut those logs pulled them to the service road loaded them on with the tractor which worked out really good um with no issues and then we would drive them over here and then we would pull them off with the four-wheeler and then leave them on the ground and then at the end of the day we had, I don't know, eight or nine or so laying on the road here. And then I just picked them up with the tractor, put a choker on the front, drug them over here, piled them up. So it worked out pretty good.
anyhow that's just a quick little video we're gonna head back there now i gotta drive the tractor back anyhow if you could like share subscribe comment thanks for watching that's the end there eh?